What's up all you scrappers? What's up YouTube? Trash talkers, dumpster divers, garbage pickers, everything in between. Uh, we got a quick breakdown video here. This is a espresso machine. Um, I always like to pick these up. I think I've done a, a real quick little tip video in the past on this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a real quick breakdown video on it. Uh, if you see these and, and you, you think they're gonna be like coffee pots and you just uh, decide you don't wanna pick them up or you wanna clip the cord, they always have nice cords. Um, that's one thing. But uh, when it's an actual espresso machine or a cappuccino machine, um, they actually are pretty good, pretty decent return uh, for the amount of time it takes and uh, way better than a coffee pot. So, so don't make the mistake of uh, leaving it behind. Um, that's my advice. This is a, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's the brand, the, I don't know and easy serving espresso so here we go uh we even got these are a little bit nicer than coffee machines so we may have some some stainless or something right there or aluminum but uh, we're gonna break it down it should be pretty easy to get into a uh, few screws on the bottom a few screws on the top and of course we're gonna find some inside too but uh to check out what we find inside this thing this is why these are cool and a quick tip uh you're gonna want to make sure you have your uh tamper proof bits out uh, these typically have those uh, on the bottoms of them all right, we got these uh, these first screws off to take uh, the top off. Now there are a couple screws right here that I'm gonna have to uh, run underneath the knob that I'm gonna have to take off to get that off. But here's the big unveil, and here's why I like these so much. There you go. Get a big, nice piece of brass there. A couple pieces of brass throughout. Um, you got aluminum. You got uh, some 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 stainless. Um, we're gonna have another motor down there. So um, just a few, you know, basic screws once you're inside and uh, some nice return. I'm going to go ahead and get it all out, break it down. I'll lay it out and see what everything we got. All right, to peel this off, we're just going to take our uh, snippers. I'm going to grab the corner and we're going to try to peel it back. looks like I'm going to unveil some screws down in there that we may or may not need to deal with here. Now that we got it started, we should be able to just pull right back with the screwdriver. Just like that. All right, here we go. We have it all broke down. Uh, a lot of plastic here you'll see, but uh, I think you can see the good stuff and, and why I consider this uh, always a good breakdown, especially compared to like a coffee machine or something. So we've got our plastic, our trash to recycle. Uh, let's hop into all the good stuff. This is our power cords. Well, that's our power cord. Uh, that's some extra copper wiring that was in there. Got a big, nice piece of cast um, right there. Yeah, de decent sized chunk. You can kind of hear it. Keep moving. A uh, few items over here to look at. So these are both stainless. I, I don't have my uh, everything on me handy to take those off. Um, there are nuts in there though, so it's going to make it real easy. Get off those nice big pieces of brass. Uh, this guy here is brass inside there. So take those pieces of brass out. That goes to the brass collection. These are stainless. Get a little piece of stainless right there. Our heating element. Uh, this one's non-magnetic. I've gotten magnetic ones and I've gotten non-magnetic ones. So the non-magnetic ones I just put in a bucket. So they're all kind of going to go together. We got some dirty brass, our little connector ends and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be clean brass, um, plus again those chunks, uh, plus a little bit of copper items right there. Well, uh, there's our light iron, our shred, whatever you want to call it. Uh, copper windings inside this. That's kind of like a the motor, copper motor. More light iron and shred right here. Just a couple small pieces and aluminum. I want to include this little insert video uh, that I did after the fact of basically breaking this down. Uh, just again to show you, you know, really what is inside and what the return rate is. So uh, I used the vise, worked out real well, uh, didn't take very long. So I ended up with our two clean pieces that are stainless. Um, they get some decent weight to them. And then uh, this is all of our brass. And this is the only piece of, uh, you know, light iron. It's this little magnet right there. Um, and these are decent sized pieces. I mean, you can kind of hear how big they are. So 
Um, worked out pretty well. Just wanted to make sure to include that uh, so you knew kind of what was inside. Here we go. Uh, so, you know, take a look at all that and compare it to a coffee machine, which has, you know, normally a, a little motor and a, a power cord to it. Um, they're not really worth the time of breaking down. These I always consider uh, worth it for me. Uh, curious to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know if you pick them up, if you tear them down, if you find anything good. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to leave that to you. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. Otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. As always, thanks for watching. Happy scrapping. Thank you. Thank you very much.